What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to be looking at the project Alephium and how to mine it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell. Also, be on the lookout for an Easter egg in this video. I give away $10 in Bitcoin to the first person that can find that Easter egg and let me know in the comments down below the correct timestamp of when it appeared. All right, so let's get into the project Alephium. Alephium is a scalable for devs, secure for users, and decentralized for all. Innovative sharding meets expressive UTXO and efficient proof of less work to secure scalable decentralized apps for real world use cases. We've got, um, you can start building your own decentralized apps. You can start contributing. You can apply for a grant to develop your own project on Alephium. And also you can go ahead and start mining, which of course is the focus of this video. We'll get into that in a sec. Technology is scalable and sharded. Alephium is built on a novel and complete sharding algorithm called a block flow. It improves the UTXO model of BTC to make scalable and uses DAG to data structure to reach the consensus between different shards. Um, efficiency in energy consumption. Alephium employs a proof of less work, which combines physical work and coin economics to dynamically adjust with the uh, work required to mine new blocks uh, it does use the blake 3 algorithm alephium introduces the stateful utxo model offering layer one scalability and the same level of programmability as the account model used on eth whilst being more secure the alfred virtual machine solves many of the critical issues of the current decentralized apps platforms with huge improvements on security development experience and introduces new paradigms such as trustless p2p smart contracts transactions all right so as usual this will be down below all the links everything i'm talking about i'm not going to go word for word through this actual site so the first thing we're going to need is the actual wallet so you just go ahead and click on wallet down here i went ahead and downloaded the desktop wallet to show you guys that they do have an extension wallet and a mobile wallet but like I said, I went ahead and downloaded this desktop wallet, put it on my NVIDIA rig. So you just go ahead and click on download here. And I put it in its own folder over here on the NVIDIA rig. Let me move the miner out of the way. And it would be Alephium. I unzipped it, called it Alephium, of course. You just go in here and you would double click on Alephium 2.1.5. At least that's the version as of making this video. It will walk you through the steps. You have to create a password. You'll have to copy down 24 words, retype those in in the correct order just to make sure you... You know what you're doing when you install the actual wallet it's not really that big of a deal it's pretty easy to walk through basic stuff and when you go ahead and do that the wallet is going to pop up and it'll look like this you're going to have to go ahead and log into it so let me do that real quick and you just go ahead and click unlock and this is your actual wallet the wallet address you're going to need of course is going to be up here in the upper right hand corner you would just go ahead and click on copy and that's what you're going to need to go ahead and start mining I'm not going to go through this whole wallet. If you guys want to have a video on that, comment down below and I'll go ahead and do a little overview of the actual Alephium wallet. All right, so you've copied your wallet address. We are using T-Rex Miner to uh, go ahead and mine this coin. You can use it for AMD and NVIDIA over here on trexminer.com. Let's go ahead and click on download right there. Of course, I'm using Windows. You would just go ahead and click on download. If you got Linux, click on download right there. Again, put it on my NVIDIA rig. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And I put it in its own folder, unzip it, of course, called it Alephium. Now, if you go right in here, I'm using the Wooly Pooly Pool, and it's already got a config file set up and ready to go for you. I'll go ahead and show you what you need to edit in that. Again, it's got the Wooly Pooly Pool. If you guys did want to change pools, I'll show you guys that in a sec. But the only thing you're going to need to change right here is your actual wallet address, which you just got from the actual wallet. The dash W is your worker. You can leave that blank if you want. Totally up to you. But again, I like to see my rig show up on the pool. If that functionality is available on a certain pool, whatever you're using. All right. So when you got your file configured and ready to go, just click on save as. Since it's already alf dash woolly pulley, just make sure you kit dot BAT. And it'll go ahead and overwrite it. Yes, you want to go ahead and do that. And you should be good to go. So let me go ahead and stop the miner here real quick. And all you would have to do at this point is go ahead and double click right here. The miner will go ahead and pull up, see what kind of cards you have. And it'll go ahead and set the miner up and it will connect to the pool and start mining. So to make sure you're connected to the pool, you go over here to Wooly Pulley right here. There'll be a spot where you can enter your wallet address and go ahead and click enter. And it'll pop up whether you're actually connected or not. It may take a little bit 
to go ahead and pop up. You have to get at least a couple of shares. And as you can see right here, NVIDIA rig, that's why I like to put my worker name in there. I've been mining this for maybe going on two days right now. And again, I've only got a 1660 Ti and a 1070 going on that little machine right there. But I've made about almost two Alephium as it goes right now, which is about $1.54 worth. You do get paid out every one Alephium. You can see payouts right there. So you got to have mine at least one Alephium to go ahead and get that payout. If you guys did want to go ahead and change pools, here's a list of pools right here of our mining pool stats. Again, this will be down below. I like to spread the hash rate as usual, so I'll drop down to the second one, Wooly Pooly, right there. Of course, they do have a, a Hero Miners, a Lithium Pool, and etc., etc., all the way down the list right there, guys. If you guys wanted to get an idea of what your actual cards can make, you go over here to What to Mine. You just go ahead and click on whatever cards you got. You know, you should know the deal right there. Enter it in there and just go ahead and click Calculate, and it'll give you an idea. Again, it's saying I'm making about 68 gross a day, 18 cents take home. Uh, nothing to uh, write mom home about right there. All right, so Alephium, like we're here on coin market cap, sitting at about 78 cents, just a tad bit off of the old time high, which is going to be about 85 cents, it looks to be right there. Upside in this coin, it's really tough to um, tough to gauge that. I tried to find something with a similar max supply, and I didn't feel like going through all the different coins of coin market cap. But, you know, in this bull market, maybe this could do... I would say at least two, three, five X possibly again, as usual, don't quote me on that guys. All right. So that's the project Delephium. Make sure you comment down below if you did find that Easter egg in this video and I will send you over $10 in Bitcoin. If you missed my last video, make sure you go ahead and check that out right here.